The legislation I introduced today brings clarity to the sale and use of cannabis in this province. Our proposed amendments outline two ways for Albertans to pr purchase cannabis once legalized. The first is through privately owned and operated retailers. A private system will mean fewer upfront costs for the government and more opportunities for small businesses. Physical retail locations will have strict government oversight through licensing by the AJLC and will only be able to sell cannabis products. No alcohol, tobacco, or pharmaceuticals will be permitted alongside cannabis. We will work to put provincial rules in place across Alberta that include a set range of hours for operation, minimum distances from places like schools, <coughs> standard training requirements for all staff, and requirements around background checks. Details on the licensing process and requirements will be outlined in the new year. If our legislation passes, Albertans will also be able to purchase cannabis through government-operated websites. And with strong government oversight, we will ensure that age verification during transactions and delivery. Government will manage an online system to make sure we can meet Albertans' expectations about safety and security. We are proposing a minimum age for purchase and possession of cannabis in Alberta to be 18, aligning with the minimum age for alcohol and tobacco, as well as the federal government's minimum age. As for possession limits, adults may possess 30 grams at any given time. There will also be zero tolerance for youth possession under the legal age of 18. Possession over five grams continu continues to be subject to federal legislation. Once cannabis is legal, people over 18 will be allowed to smoke or vape cannabis in their homes and in some public spaces. This will be restricted in vehicles, on hospital grounds, in cannabis retail outlets, anywhere where smoking or vaping tobacco is already restricted, and in areas frequented by children, like school properties, spray parks, and within five meters of playgrounds. The legislation we have introduced gives us the ability to license cannabis cafes and lounges should we choose to in the future. This is not a decision we're making today. Instead, we will wait to see the federal plan for edible cannabis products and consider a role for licensed cannabis locations at that time. 